I am here with Trisha. Hi! And we're going to show you our favorite products of 2012. This is going to be like a two, three part video. Uh, we're going to break it down to face, eyes, lips, and then probably like miscellaneous stuff after that. So we're just going to kind of take turns and go through like our daily skincare or routine for makeup and um, kind of show you what our standout products were for 2012. I think you're going to realize we're product junkies, so yeah. we really had to cut this down. I know that both of us, we've been texting back and forth and going, oh, what are you doing? And I had to really limit myself this morning. I don't know about yeah. you. Yeah, I was going through and picking stuff out and then deciding what is really like standout products that I really, really liked for yeah. 2012. So um, let's start with like if we have like a moisturizer or primer or anything. Do you have a moisturizer that you really love? I, you know, every morning I start with two products. I love the 40 carats. This is their moisture splurge. And I don't actually have really dry skin, but I love like a really good hydrated skin because I kind of like a luminous yeah. look to my skin. And so this is their retinol rich skin cream. I love it. I get this at TJ Maxx. That's the only oh. place I can ever find it. And then my other must have like product in the morning is a sunscreen. This is the Kiehl's Vital Sun Protect. It's SPF 40. And it's actually their like sunscreen for kids, which I love because it's um, super water resistant. It's really awesome. And it doesn't have, it. you know, sometimes a sunscreen under makeup gives you a really white, mm -hmm. like kind of finish to your and face. Greasy and this doesn't. It's really non-greasy. I love it. I feel like That's it lasts awesome. all day. And I am kind of a sunscreen freak. I have I, 365 days of the year. I'm, I've got sunscreen on. That's awesome. And where do you find that? At the Kiehl's uh, counter? Or? Yeah, you can get it at Kiehl's counter. I got that at Nordstrom's. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I'll yeah. look into that. Um, one of mine, I have kind of a uh, combination oily skin. So I actually found this at TJ Maxx too. It's the Bliss Steep Clean Mattifying Moisturizer. And I love it because the texture of it is not um, really drying, but it really keeps you matte. So like yeah. in the summertime when it's really hot, even if you wear like a luminous foundation, it keeps you matte, but still gives you that luminous glow from your foundation. Um, it just really helps kind of like keep the oils from your skin from like breaking down your makeup. So I really love this and it's the Bliss Steep Clean Moisturizer. I love the whole Steep Clean line. I they love a couple this. other products that are really great in their line. I have their toner and then I have some. Have you ever tried their pads? They have yeah, the, the Steep toner Clean. Pads. I love those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have those and I really love them. And I, don't ha I wouldn't say I have oily, oily skin, but um, I don't find that it makes any dry areas drier, oh, that's nice. uh, which is really nice because sometimes when you use oily products, it'll dry out your skin if you're kind of combo. So I really love that. So that's probably one of my favorite moisturizers this year. Cool. What about, um, what's the next step? Yeah. No, my next step? Well, okay. My next step is a, is a kind of a very silly, a little bit of step. So I'll do my moisturizer, I'll do yeah. sunscreen. Then I'm going to use the MAC Strobe Liquid Lotion, their cream. Love I love this. Love I that. think this is one of the best products that I've found this year. And to be fair, I've only been using this since around Thanksgiving. Somebody kind of introduced me to it. And honestly, I cannot get enough of it. And then my next step is using Ben. I'm really brand loyal. I have a couple brands that I totally love. And mm. one of them is Benefit Cosmetics out of San Francisco. And this is their Pore Professional. Love that. It, I think Anybody who has, I mean, I cannot believe what it does for pores. Oh, yeah. I don't even have big pores, and I don't really have a lot of blemishes, but I still can't believe, like, the smooth, mm -hmm. like, it's a huge difference if I don't use this and put foundation on versus when I use this. I almost feel like this gives me an airbrushed look, even pre-foundation. And then after my, um, after my, um, whatever this is, poor professional, I'm going to come back again with a strobe mm -hmm. and I'm just going to hit the highlights. Any place that I want, like, oh, you know, because yeah, I'm going to start my contouring then with my second round of strobe. Ah, that's a good idea. Have you ever tried mixing the strobe with your foundation? No. That's what I love. To I do. haven't, but I just mixed strobe the other day with that gal from oh, Benefit I again, which is a brightening. I just mixed the two of these and it's like the most pretty, like Ooh, pink, I'll luminous. It's so cute. It's really, a, it's a that. sweet look. Yeah, so that gal is a really great, it's a primer also mm -hmm. and it's a brightening primer, but a lot of times I'll use it as a highlighter too. That's awesome. Kind I of need in to process. Because I yeah. have it, but I haven't used it yet. Um, for primers for me, I have a couple that were really standout primers. Um, for this year. The first one I purchased this summer and it was the Tarte Clean Slate Poreless. It's a silicone based primer, but um, I really love it because I feel like it does fill in your pores. It's yeah. clear uh, and it just makes your skin feel extremely like silky and smooth. Let me see a little bit um, of that on the back of my hand. Your makeup just kind of glides like glides on. It's so beautiful. It has a beautiful finish and I find that it really helps keep my makeup on like all day. I purchased this when I was in Hawaii 
and it's very humid in Hawaii and I found my makeup like did not budge when I wore this. I love, I can't believe this. I'm like, wow. Isn't it so nice? Beautiful. And yeah. it's pore refining, waterproof, and line filling. So I have fine lines as well under my eyes, so I like to bring it all the way up under my eyes. Just feel like it really fills them in. And then the other one, um, if you've watched my videos, you've known I've gone through sample after sample of the Lancome La Base Pro. So I finally purchased the full size. Again, one of those nice silicone based primers, very silky smoothing, very luxurious. Uh, definitely can tell that it's a high-end primer just because of the way that it makes your skin feel like if you want me to give you a little yeah, dabble right. on your other hand. I'm going to compare and contrast the two. Just kidding. And the, the price <laughs> difference um, of these really isn't that much. This one's more of a, uh, this, oh, is this is definitely is more thicker and a thicker silicone where this one is more of like a silky. This is, this is amazing. This is my first introduction to yeah. this. I've, I just read a review about it. Was Isn't so excited it that it's on your best app. I cannot believe it. It is so good. And you know, to be honest, you need the smallest amount so it'll last you a long time. It is a little pricier. I think it's about $50. This one I want to say is around the $36 range. But if you could splurge for this, I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's so light. It's I can't believe. Free. Listen, I'm feeling the back of my hand right now to feel the difference. And I can see how this one is a really good line filler. Mm -hmm. I can feel it on top of my skin. This one, the Lancome, I cannot even feel on my it's skin. It's like silk. My skin just feels like silk. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. really amazing. So those are my standout uh, yeah. primers for sure this this year. And then um, let's move into some foundations. So some foundations you love. Okay, I had to really limit my foundations, and it's I'm so disappointed. I went Matt, I went to Macy's last night, our Macy's, which is kind of small, because I love the Urban Decay Naked. I'm 3.5, and so I, I just ran out of it right before Christmas, and I thought, oh my, my gosh, I better go get another one so I can hold it and show it to you. They're out of it. She said it's one of the most popular colors, but anyway, the Urban Decay Naked 3.5, I think Amazing is things. the best foundation yeah. that I have found in a really, really long time. Once again, I don't need a ton of full coverage a lot. If I'm gonna do, I'll show you my full coverage look in a minute, but just for that kind of everyday, really natural, mm -hmm. like just kind of, I just love it. I think it And it, it makes, has great coverage too, doesn't it? It has incredible coverage. coverage. And the, my favorite thing is, a little bit goes a really long way. And I use my two foundation, um, loves are the beauty blender the egg i'm trying not to show it to you very close because i just used it this morning and so it's not really clean here here's one still in the oh back. yeah here, this, is, this is my favorite um and then the mac 130 uh 130 um like the mini duo fiber mm -hmm. stippling brush i love this the combination of being able to get around like right tied up around my eyes and then just getting a really good like buff yeah. has been my favorite and so i think that the urban decay buffs really well i don't you think you need to build it up because i think I do, I, I'll usually contour and do some mm -hmm. other things, you know, but so that's kind of my, that was my favorite, favorite foundation of the year. And then my other foundation um, actually is a combination of two different colors. It's Makeup Forever, their high D or their high definition HD foundation, which is awesome. This is I've a heard amazing thing. I still have to try it. This is a great, especially if you're, you, since you're on camera, you would yeah. really love this. This is a full coverage foundation. And then the MAC Pro Longwear same thing full coverage foundation and i have nw25 which is a little darker and then 120 and i love to contour and so i'm going to use my nw21 what is it 25 first mm -hmm. and i'm going to do my like darker contour areas and then i'm going to buff in the lighter color for eight the hd lighter color on top of kind of that just to give like a yeah. really good contour which i love so you contour with your foundation like your first step is like contouring with your foundation then yeah. instead of doing an all over color and then contouring with like bronze yep. or something. Oh, and actually my very first contour step is going to be the strobe. The strobe. I'm going to hit highlighting. all of my highlighting. Yeah. And That's then awesome. because then I find that I find that when you buff in a lighter foundation over strobe strobe that's mm -hmm. already been highlighted, you're going to get this really kind of effervescent like That's pretty. I need to so try then that. You're That's actually kind idea. of getting three different levels of contouring. So you're getting your really bright like contouring, then you're getting your sort of more your actual skin tone, mm -hmm. which is going to be more of the 120 for me. Yeah. And then I'm going to contour kind of like, you know, this part, like around in here, the sides of my nose. And actually to do the contouring for the sides of my nose, I'll use, I use this little max coverage concealer brush by Bare Essentials and I'll just drag it just kind of right along the, you know, sides of my nose and then I'll contour, then I'll do the, the lighter foundation down the center of my nose. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so a good technique to try out. Yeah. I love it actually. And then I, a lot of times too, I'll even take this brush and do my lighter contouring, like with my mm -hmm. lighter color, like right in here and then kind of the center of my chin too. That's a really good idea. Yeah. So it's a, I mean, it's a, I think it's a science, but I, I saw such a difference when I started contouring with my foundation instead of, I used to just contour with my yeah. bronzer. 
And so this kind of gives a really you good idea. a more, like, I think it just defines your features a lot better. Gives a little more natural mm -hmm. finish. Yeah. So my favorite foundations, I had a few that were uh, really stand out. And now that I'm looking at it, they're all, like, kind of full coverage. Uh, the first one is the Stay Matte by Clinique, which I used to use Clinique way back in the day. And my friend Kirsten actually told me about this foundation, and it's amazing. I have a few different shades. This one's in 05 Fair, and I also have 07 for like the summertime, but it's one of those foundations that really does keep you matte all day. You don't have issues with it, um, like making you look dry and cakey looking, but it just provides like, it just looks like skin, like matte mm -hmm. skin, which is what I really love. And uh, to apply this, I either use, I have a few different brushes. Um, the first brush that I really love are these Sigma brushes. This is the Sigma Flat Top Synthetic brush. It's just a flat top kabuki. Works really great at buffing it into the skin. Yeah. Gives you a really nice full coverage, flawless look. I also like, um, this one is from Sedona Lace, and it's an angled one. And the reason I like this brush is because it's pointed on the tip here, so it's flat and it goes really nice flush against the skin, and it's really nice for getting up under the eyes or around like your okay, nose yeah. uh, because of the pointed tip. I really <laughs> love that. And then the other one, of course, is my Beauty Blender. This is a one that I didn't use this morning. So it's just a really great beauty blender. I mean, I know there's a bunch of knockoffs. I've tried a few that really just don't compare to it. It's just, I just say, spend the money on it and your life will change forever. Uh, I agree. I totally agree. I've tried a couple knockoffs and not happy with any of them. Comes Nothing comes close to it. And uh, I mean, they'll look the same, but when you get these wet, just the how bouncy and soft it is, like the other ones just can't hold the candle to it. I mean, it's just amazing. It gives you the most flawless coverage. You can have the thickest foundation and you will never have cakey makeup with this there i mean i've never once had cakey makeup using a beauty blender so sure. i recommend just paying the money for it and i think you'll be like extremely happy with it and i think they last a while they last a really long care time of it, and i think if you don't if you're not dragging it really hard across yeah. your skin and you're keeping your fingernails out of it i think it lasts a while yeah i mean the one that i have i i purchased my first beauty blender back in march uh, it's now what January, so I've almost had it for a year, and it's in perfect condition. There's no holes in it. Yeah, and this one's going since strong since September. Yeah. So, and I actually used it dry this morning, yeah. just up around because I was only using it around my under eye, and mm -hmm. so I didn't even get it wet this morning. I just totally used it dry. Well, and it's so multi-purpose. I know that now I'm going into a rant about a beauty blender, <laughs> but it's so it's multi the best it is because. The truth is, is you can use it wet for your foundation. You can mm. use it wet and put it in your under eye setting powder, like if you use the Ben Nye Banana Powder or the Ben Nye um, like Cameo Powder, which I use because I'm more fair skin. You can have it wet, you can do it in your under eye setting powder, pat it under your eyes, it gives a really nice flawless coverage, doesn't make it cakey. You could do cream blush with it. Yeah, you could I do love it with cream bronzer. blush. Bronzer, I mean, mm. you could do anything with it. It's amazing, so yeah. I love that. And then uh, the other two foundations were uh, Revlon, I believe, released this this year. This is the Revlon Color Stay Whipped. This is a new one because I've already gone through a jar. Uh, I love this. It is a consistency of like pudding. Um, it's extremely full coverage, creamy, but not cakey at all. It lasts all day. The coverage is beautiful. Just gives you like a really pretty satiny, almost matte finish to your skin without looking flat and um, cakey looking. So I love that. And then another find for me this year was the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I had heard through YouTube. Uh, I always thought of Estee Lauder as kind of like a grandma brand. Yeah, or mom's brand. Or a mom's brand. Um, but I have to admit, like, this foundation is amazing. It lasts all day. Pair it with the Beauty Blender is amazing. I like to take this and put in a few squirts of the MAC Strobe Lotion. And it gives you a really pretty luminosity, but still stays all day and doesn't slide all over your face. Perfect for... Um, you know, if you're in hot climates and you sweat or you have oily skin, just a really great foundation. And um, I've heard a lot of girls that have acne prone skin. This actually is one of the only foundations they could use that don't break them out. Wow. So um, yeah, I really love, love that. So cool. that's for foundation. And uh, what about powder? Okay. Well, I barely wear powder. I don't even have, I told you, I think I texted yeah. you last night. I don't even use a, like a setting powder like that has like a, a color to it. Every once in a while, I will use the Makeup Forever HD, their high definition powder. I think this is an incredible mm -hmm. setting powder. So when I do use a powder, I'm going to use this, but I actually use this under my eyes. Yeah. I have this eyes. incredible little MAC 227, and this is their special edition, so it's a short handle. This brush I love, and I only ever use it under my eyes, so I'll use... 
um, the setting powder under my eyes with this little brush. And then every once in a while, I'll kind of hit the high points yeah. of my face with this. But I'm not, I'm not. I don't want to take off my highlighter. Yeah. You know. And so sometimes I feel like because this is a this is a setting powder for the mm -hmm. very last like step. I feel like if I put it down my nose, then it takes off my you know highlighter, which we'll get to in a little bit. So sometimes every once in a while I'll use this a little bit like under my lip right here for my chin, mm -hmm. or you know I'll kind of just hit like a couple places that get a little bit oilier for me, but. I really, other than that, I, I, I don't use a powder. I, I need to be introduced to the world of powders, I, I think. I know you do. So, uh, my powder, I have one standout powder that I found I really loved. Uh, I had a small sample size that I went through so fast. It's the Benefit Hello Flawless. This is in Petal. It's actually, I believe, like a powder foundation. Ooh, pretty color. Um, woo! Flipping stuff. <laughs> uh, but it's very, like, pigmented. But it's just so silky feeling. Oh, like, I like that. It's really nice. I like to use, I don't have it in front of me, but the e.l.f. Uh, kabuki brush. It's three dollars or six dollars from Target. The softest brush you'll ever find for applying your face powder. And I just kind of dust it all over my skin and I just find that it just kind of finishes everything with the MAC Fix Plus. I uh, love this stuff. It's not a setting spray. Um, I know a lot of people say, oh it doesn't make my makeup last. It's not a good setting spray. Well it's not meant to be a setting spray. Right. It's a multi-purpose product. Perfect for wetting your brush to use eyeshadows, pigments. wet and dry, pigments. It's my pigment savior. Yeah, and this is great. If you feel like you look a little powdery, just spritz some of this on your face and it will just kind of settle all that powder and just make you look really like flawless looking. So I love that. I'm almost gone. And then another one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Just makes, squirt it on your face, makes your makeup last all day. You also can um, squirt this on your face or spray it on your face prior to doing your foundation okay. and then apply your foundation and then squirt it one more time and it will like make your lip, your makeup last all day. Due to the concealer world, just this year I started using concealer just for my under eye and for blemishes but this is the one I will love that. This is the only concealer I've actually ever used. I didn't ever even grow up using concealer but this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Love it. This color is amazing too. This is the NW25 and I also sometimes use this for contouring too because it's in between some of my foundation colors. Um, for my face concealing, if I ever have any blemishes or anything, I really like the Boing Concealer from Benefit. This came in a little gift set, so it came with shade one and shade two. Oh, really nice, nice and full coverage, uh, but again, not a cakey product, which I really love. So again, that's Benefit Boing Concealer. BB creams. My standout BB cream for all of 2012 was the Leo Ellie BB cream. It's the Triple Solutions. I love this for many reasons. It actually has skincare benefits. It has anti-aging properties in it. It has uh, whitening pro properties. So if you have hyperpigmentation issues, acne scarring and that kind of stuff, it kind of helps whiten those and lighten okay. them. Uh, and I just really love it. It only comes in one shade, and uh, but it, lucky for me, happens to be like a perfect shade. <laughs> and I love that it has a pump on it, and the packaging mm. is absolutely adorable. So it was really cute. I got it from prettyandcute.com, and it was like, 28 bucks or something like that, but it's lasted me forever and I really love it and it has SPF 30 in it too, so uh, perfect for summertime.